welcome again guys we are talking about the DNA from the beginning and it is a primer of experiments that will lead us to the modern foundation of biology and we have seen five experiments and five inferences and from that in the last experiment we have seen that genetic inheritance follows some rules and the rule is it will be transferred from the parent generation to the offspring and during this transfer of genes each of the gene will be transferred from each parents that means one is from the father another one is from the mother right and all of these experiments actually ex founded actually all of the experiments are conducted by Gregor Mendel so five of these important conclusions we've made about genetics which is the basic foundation of genetics but provided by Gregor Mendel that's why he was termed as the father of modern genetics or classical genetics now in this case we'll be talking at the experiment number six and in the experiment number six we'll be talking about the situation when people find out that yes genes are real right because you know until uh, Mendel you know during that Mendel time people do never know that uh, whatever factor Mendel is proposing is true or not and after the experiments conducted by Gregor Mendel we are a about to kind of sure that the factor that the factor stated by Mendel is something and that factor is having some properties right like all the properties we've seen till now uh, the experiment number five but this is a situation where we need to find whether this these factors are real and where these factors actually present because up to Mendel's time we kind of guess it that yes there might be a factor involving that's why all these things are happening that's why phenotypes are changing and so on but we never know that actual thing but in this case experiment conducted by Theodore Schwann now Theodore Schwann is was one of the important leading scientists uh, for cellular biology as well as uh, genetics because Theodore Schwann he took the cell actually before Swan cell discovery has been made because cell discovery has been made in 16 or 1665 so pre pretty year, many years ago 1665 by Robert Hooke actually cell was discovered but after many years later of that discovery Theodore Swan because uh, Theodore Swan found out that factor that was being talked or that was being told by Gregor Mendel was kind of a real thing right and it is present inside the living cell only how you know by Robert uh, Hooke in at that time and also Robert Koch in that cases what what they did actually they took this cork you know cork uh, is uh, the cap of the bottle in that time so so he just crack open the cork and what he found is this like like this you know small apartment like like things small structures like this and he called it the cell because they are blank they look like just empty boxes right so those empty boxes actually observed by Robert Hooke uh, was actually uh, called as the cell right so once we know that the cell was there but that cork was dead cell right because what happens actually what he found in those cork he found these cases but only empty boxes nothing inside just empty boxes he found out there is something this these corks are made up with some boxes some it, internal structures they call it a cell now what they found he wants to took and, and after many years later Theodore Schwann actually took some living sample before Schwann there are many attempts to show is there anything inside or not but actually it was not being provided but Theodore Schwann along with some modern advances at that time with microscopy because microscope uh, developed by uh, here uh, at 1665 was pretty early and that microscope is very very you know uh, you know preliminary end of microscope very very basic magnification later it is improved and in that time of Theodore Schwann it's kind of improved and he used those microscope to find out what exactly going on in the living cell 
so he took living cells instead of this dead cell which are which are this this cock and in the, that time they never knew it is a dead or alive or something like that so no they're just a cell no no division actually but swan took those cells those living cells and he also took the dead cells and what they found actually some cell of a living organism and uh, a tree bark which is placed for many years actually which is a dead tree bark now what he found here in the living cell a uh, living part for example salamander embryo he took you know a living plant cell he took all those cells and among all those different cells he took actually of different shape and size irrespective of all these things animals cells as well as plant cells as you can see what he found is kind of common in all of those cells and those thing is that there is something dark present inside something dark once they are looking at the microscope they can't actually visualize this beautiful structure at that time but what they found in, 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 in this small cells there is a point which is pretty dark after putting a dye in it after putting a dye in it so they need to put a dye blue black whatever after putting the dye in what they found in most of the cases is that those dark spot inside the cell right and he also found in other kind of cells like the cord cell either this dye is not either this this spot is not present right most of the cases the spot is not present or another thing that he found in all those animal or plant living cells is a juice what he called juice so in this case they found the spot and the juice these two things are very very important now in other type of dead cell neither they found the spot nor the juice so by looking at these results what he can distinguish is that to be a living organism one of the most interesting and important thing is to have this dark spot in the cell as well as the juice inside the cell and later many years later after the discovery we name all those things this dark spot is named as nucleus actually he named this nucleus and then the juice later named as protoplasm actually it is named as cytoplasm okay so the presence of nucleus and the presence of cytoplasm found to be key for making a cell living on the other hand for the dead part of the cells like the cork they neither have this dark spot which is nucleus nor this cytoplasm which is the liquid material so that's why they are dead so the presence of nucleus is so vital it is making one dead thing living so there is something very very special about this nucleus and cytoplasm most importantly this nucleus so they found out if those factors are real they should be present inside this cell in nucleus or in the cytoplasm right so that is a very important discovery that those genes are real things those genes are or the factors they are real things this is the inference of the experiment 6 actually this is not one single experiment multiple experiments come together but i actually name it according to our inference so we get this idea and that gave the idea to the theodore swan that here 
in the other hand like the cork which are dead particles that is the reason you know as they are not having cytoplasm or all these things they are dead that's why they float in the water most of the time they are blank nothing is inside right so the observations come to have you know tallied and positively uh, supporting the evidence by theorist one so in this part this is very interesting towards the stages of discovery of other important part of genes and genetics.